So you have a Honeywell T3R and you want to know how to set automatic programs, learn about the manual mode, and just how the different buttons on the device works. Stick around for this video. This will be a very in-depth video on how to use the thermostat and all its functions. If you have any questions, do leave them in a comment section down below. Leave a like if you found this video useful and share it to anyone in your family who has the same thermostat and is probably facing the same problems. Subscribe to the YouTube channel down below and let's not waste any more time and get into this video. Straight away then, what do you get? In the box, you get a receiver and the thermostat itself. All the receiver does is wire into the boiler itself and when this sends a signal to it, it will react accordingly. For example, if the heating is set lower than the current temperature, the receiver will kick in and turn the boiler off. Removing the cover off the thermostat, you expose five different buttons. You've got plus, minus for changing the temperature, uh, the date, the year, and then you've got three buttons along the bottom. The far right will turn off the thermostat, which you can see it turns off the receiver. The middle button allows you to change it from manual to auto mode. We'll get to that in a minute. And then the far left lets you choose menu. Menu then opens up the settings where you can set programs, change the date, and set away modes. When the iHeat installer leaves your property, he will set up the thermostat with the correct date and time and just put it on manual at a desired temperature. If you want to change this date and time in the future, head over to menu, press the plus or minus button to get over to set and click the check button on the far right. This will then run you through the process of setting the year, month, date and time, which is quite useful for maybe daylight savings or when the clocks go forward or backwards, you can change it accordingly. On the left here, we have the receiver, which is all wired in. You've got a green light as it is on and we are sending signals to it. On the thermostat, if we turn it off, you can see the light on the receiver goes off, which means that this thermostat isn't sending any signals to the receiver. I think this is a common issue with people at home. The receiver isn't showing any lights. They haven't got any heating on. Why? And it's because you're in manual mode with the desired temperature below the current room temperature. So for example, my desired temperature is 16.5 degrees, whereas the room is at 20. If I turn the desired temperature up to 23 degrees and click OK, the receiver turns on. And that is because the boiler needs to fire up and kept this room up to 23 degrees. When the room hits the desired temperature of 23 degrees, the receiver light will turn off. Next up, I'm going to discuss manual mode and why I always use it. Manual is a lot easier to use on these thermostats. It saves the time of programming in your long program of turn on at half six, turn off at one o'clock, turn back on at three. It's a long process of programming it in and for the majority of people, it won't really bring many benefits. Of course, having a boiler turn on at half six for nice and warm mornings to then go off at maybe lunchtime when you're not in will save you money across a year. However, please bear in mind the boiler constantly firing up and turning down and firing up is, is gonna burn just as much gas as just leaving it at temperature all day. Obviously, when it comes to winter and the mornings are at seven degrees, Boosting up to 21 degrees constantly all day will use a lot of gas. So maybe at winter time, it is definitely worth using the auto function. However, with the ever increasing use of working from home, a lot of people are in their homes all day and want to be warm all day. So if you do stay at home a lot, you do work maybe a nine to five from the comfort of your own bedroom, having manual mode set to 21 degrees, maybe 20, 19, if you want to save a bit of money is the best way to go. At my house, I have dogs, so they are at home all the time, and I like to keep them nice and toasty. I also occasionally work from home, so I just leave my boiler on 21 degrees on manual all year round. Moving on to auto, this is for people who are a bit more tech savvy or who care about the, the little savings here and there, or they just work in an office all day, so their house is empty from nine till five, maybe even eight till six when you're driving back, which is where the auto mode really comes in to flourish. To access auto mode, click the middle button and head over to auto. This will show you the different programs you have set. To set these programs, go into menu on the far left, Go to programs and click the tick button on the right. Here it will say the days at the top. So you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And that just allows you to set different times and different schedules per day. So maybe if you have set working from home days on a Tuesday and Thursday, you can change that on this thermostat. 
if you have a caravan that you go to every single weekend, you wouldn't need the same programs as Monday to Friday. It's a great function of the thermostat, which a lot of people don't actually use. To set my first program for this thermostat, I'm gonna head into Monday and program one and click the far right button for tick. Here it will have a P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, and they are just different times across the day. So for a normal day, for maybe an average Joe, uh, I'm gonna say at half six, program one, that is the time at which I like the heating to come on. If you wake up at seven o'clock, you want your heating to come on about half an hour earlier so the house is nice and warm when you arise from the bed. Half six, let's go yes. If you wanted to change that, press up and down, it'll change the time. Then it says, what temperature do you want the boiler to be? So at half six, I want my boiler to fire up from whatever temperature it's at to about 21 degrees so that the house is nice and toasty. I will then click tick for yes, I like that. And then at eight o'clock, I'm gonna head out to work. So I don't need the boiler at 21 degrees because no one's home. What we recommend at iHeat is to set the desired temperature at around five degrees. And that is just because we don't want the boiler completely off. We want it to keep it at frost protection. So if it does freeze over whilst you're at work, your boiler and all your system pipes are protected. So I'm gonna go eight o'clock and set the desired temperature to five degrees. Then we're at P3. Do I come home at lunchtime maybe? Yeah, sure, on a Monday I come home for lunch. So we're gonna click yes, let's go into that. Set the time to half 12, because I'm gonna aim to get home for about one. And I'm gonna set the boiler to 21 degrees. So yet again, the house is nice and warm when I get home. Uh, and you do this for the entire period throughout the day. So I'll just speed through that very quickly. So once you've done all Monday's schedule, you then have to do Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. They do this because people's schedules change every day. You might babysit a dog. You might uh, work from home two days a week. You might work from the office three days a week. You know, it, everyone's life is different, so they just keep it nice and easy to go through it. So. As you've seen from the video, it takes a minute to do each day. So maybe after 10 minutes, you've got your entire week schedule done. Happy days. Leave it in auto mode and your heating will work exactly how you've set it. Okay, let's say that the batteries have died in the thermostat for a long period of time and your receiver is no longer connected to the thermostat. To get it into pairing mode, you wanna hold down the button on the receiver until you get a red flashing light like so. There we go, there's the red flashing light. It may already be in this state, it might already be showing a red light, and that means it has no connection to the thermostat. Then for the thermostat to access the secret menu, press the button so it is illuminated on the screen, hold down the minus and the far left arrow together until you access the secret menu. From here you will get 14A, make sure that is selected, and it may show zero instead of a one. Change that to a one, make sure it stays at a one, and click OK. This will then connect to the receiver. Once that is done, just click the back button and back button again, and you're all good to go. To test it is working, click off and turn it back on again, and you'll get the green light and the lovely clicking noise. That is your receiver and your thermostat paired back together again. One thing I have to say for the end of this video is that if you are setting automatic schedules, if the batteries run out on this thermostat, for more than an hour, it will reset your entire progress with your programs. So make sure you're keeping an eye on the battery level. If it gets low, make sure you change the batteries quite often. They do come with two AA batteries, but just keep an eye on this battery level and change when necessary. As if it's off for more than an hour, your programs will be deleted. So that entire 10 minutes you spent setting what time you want the board to come on and go off will be gone. So. Keep an eye out for that. That's the only advice I can give you. That has been our tutorial and walkthrough of the Honeywell T3R. Uh, thank you very much for watching. As I said before, share to anyone who's facing the same problems or someone with the same thermostat in your family uh, and leave a comment below with your common issues that you see across the board uh, with this thermostat and we'll, we'll try and get back to you in the comment section below with a solution. So yeah, that is it. Leave a like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram for more helpful tips like this video uh, and I will see you in the next video.